Joe, how are you? How's it going? <laughs> Very well, thank you. How's the day been so far? You look like yeah. uh, you've actually been skating out there for a little bit. I was. They were uh, making me do some extra breakaways for scurvy on the video, and they made me shoot right into the stomach every time. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, <laughs> what? It wasn't even fair. Yeah, what was, was the over-under? I was planning on embarrassing them, but then, uh, you know, they got mad when I scored. Do we, need a, do we need a lower third inappropriately viewed in this, uh, <laughs> portrayed in this film? Well, he doesn't want a couple of those on there, but, uh, no, it makes me look like I can't shoot, so... <laughs> We'll hey, you got to build his keep his confidence where it is right now, though, Joe. That's true. You know? He's at an all-time high. That's so right. I'll, uh, I'll let him stay leave it there. there. Yeah. But just the fact that you're shooting, back shooting, is a good thing. And how's it coming along, uh, considering you went through a real tough bout at the end of last year? Yeah, it's uh, huge progress. Um, I've had a lot of help from our training staff, both here and uh, I had a, a guy back in Calgary that uh, the lease kind of hooked me up with, and it's uh, it's still not exactly where I want it to be but uh, it's already way better than it was at the end of last year so um, with both the finger and the and the wrist. Now last year you had that wrist injury and, and a lot of people you know they looked at your statistics during the course of the season after you know you started out like a house on fire player of the month in October and then things tailed off for you after you were called up to the Maple Leafs and whatnot and all season long, uh, you know, even myself, I said, geez, it look, doesn't look like he's shooting the puck very well. But unbeknownst to everybody, you had that wrist injury uh, that you played through all season. So you have to be commended for that. And obviously, it's something that you want to move forward from. And as you just alluded to, you, you, you've you got things fixed up and you've got to feel very confident uh, heading into training camp here this this uh, this time around. For sure. It's uh, it was it was frustrating, to say the least. And. Uh, I did my best not to let it creep into my game, but I, it, you know, as you said, it, it kind of started to show. And just every time you go to take a shot or even, you know, give a hard pass or anything, it's just, you know, a, a pain, you know, running up through your arm. So, um, again, it's it's going to be now. I'm in the last week or two since I've been in the OK to start shooting again. It's, uh, you know, I'm trying to get back to that more of a shooter's mentality, and and I'm going to keep on uh, keep on going with that. And I'm just excited to get going again, and and hopefully, uh, you know, get this all behind me and, and move on. Well, and, and one thing, Bobby and, and, and uh, Abby, one thing we certainly saw in your game last year that you didn't get away from was was using his size and the way that even though maybe you weren't able to put the mustard on the puck that you wanted, you still used the tools that you had that were healthy and, and drive at the net. We still did see a lot of that. I mean, I only called a couple games last year, but one thing I noticed is that, you know, the legs were still grinding and you were still taking what you had to the net to cause the problem. Yeah, well, so if you can't shoot and, uh, you know, I think, I think some of the teams started to realize too when when I, I had stopped shooting more and, and they were playing the pass. So it was um, the only way I could really get any success was to take it to the net, like you said, and, and try and, uh, you know, kind of grind it away down low. And um, that's something, again, I've, I've put on some weight again and, and hopefully I can continue to uh, improve in that area of my game and, um, and then incorporate the, the shoot first mentality back. If you ever need help putting on weight in the off season, look, give me a call, okay? Because uh, <laughs> I think maybe even Bobby and I, we can both help you. I don't know about Abs over here. He's, yeah. Yeah, he's a lean machine. Yeah, he's, oh, he's pretty good. Gotta, gotta keep up with these guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pack the bus. <laughs> we do. I have a couple more questions for you. I'm sure the guys do too, but we're getting one from Twitter now. What's your favorite part about playing in Toronto and what do you like about the city? Well, the. Uh, my favorite part of Toronto, probably we didn't notice it until, um, you know, the year came to a close and then the playoff stretch. But when we had the Rico Rock and, and you know everyone was waving those towels around and stuff, it was it was electric in there. And um, you know you're in the middle of a, a long playoff run and everyone's bodies you know breaking down, getting tired, and we'd come out and everyone's just rocking in there. And it's you know I don't want to put down the ACC but I mean it was it was rocking and and we were we were loving it. you come out you get the adrenaline rush like that was fun and that was uh that was definitely the highlight of my year coming out and seeing the crowd and and you know you have all the little kids who are, are excited to see the Marlies come you know play and um so that's probably my favorite part and I like you know I love Toronto I've, I've loved it since I've been here and uh as a guy who doesn't really cook too much for himself I like to uh <laughs> I like that you can go pretty much to a new restaurant almost every day and not have to to deal with you know going to the same spot over and over again. Same old, same old. Yeah. We have another question as well. Uh, I've been told. Uh, what was the highlight of your off season? is what this person wants to know. Um, Away from the rink. Yeah, well, probably getting my cast off. Um, it was about a month ago probably now, and that thing was getting gross. It was, it was stinky. <laughs> it was sweaty. I mean, because I was, I was doing leg workouts and, and cardio, so I'm sweating every day in it, and, you know, I couldn't take it off, and it was just 
like I felt awkward going on public with it because people would just kind of give it like weird looks like I you know wasn't taking care of my body and stuff so um, that or the uh, the stampede it was a hundred year anniversary and uh, we had a good time are you are you a, sorry are you a white hat guy or a black hat guy for the stampede I'm a black hat guy. Black hat guy. I have a white hat, but I, I don't pull that off very well. Now, so Jerry, I, I he said it. he came out to visit you for the uh, stampede. You showed him a good time, obviously. Yeah, I showed him around the city. He had uh, a few other guys there, too. So uh, I can pretty much promise you he'll be coming back for many more years after, <laughs> after those few days he was there. Now, I don't, you look like you just came out of a poster in Domingo's room or something. Like, you've got full equipment here. Skates, stick, gloves. Is this this is a cool interview moment for me? Have you ever done one like this before? I never have. I was in the middle of doing an interview over there, and they kind of waved me out of it and, and brought me over here. So I'm I'm still sweating from shooting on scurvy, but uh, no, it's definitely a first. Hey, we got to step up our game. We need a towel to put yeah, around. That's yeah, that's right. Put the logo on it yeah. and everything here. And, and what do you think of the new look jerseys? Love them. Might as well ask you that. Great Love display them. right here. It, uh, we were all talking about it today when we walked in, saw them for the first time. It's. Uh, you know, whoever was was planning these out, they deserve uh, they deserve a medal or something because they look great. Well, help help us out. You might have some first timers. What's new about the look here? Well, it's it's more it's a darker it's a darker blue first of all, and then yeah. you have the 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 stitching up top with the the tie. Yeah. Joe, do you want to take it from there? <laughs> I can really tell you the difference. Oh, that's right. I didn't want to put anyone uh, on the spot. It's, it's, yeah, it's, more no, of a, it's more of a it's more well, of a leaf look. It looks look. a lot I'm like a, the leaf jerseys. Exactly. Yeah. It looks yeah. a lot more like the leaf jerseys. Pops like, a little uh, bit more. There you go. We had yeah. more of this kind of lighter blue, I think, on our jerseys last year. Maybe it was yeah. all that lighter blue. But cool. uh, no, it looks great. Now coming into training camp, uh, a lot of new faces, uh, but you've got to feel pretty confident with all the guys coming back from last season and try to continue what you guys accomplished last year. Yeah. And I said it from day one last year. We had uh, an unbelievable group of veterans. Um, Hammy, you can ask for anything more than a captain. Uh, he's, you know, the, the backbone of our team. And then you have guys like Ziggy and, and Holsey and, and uh, Fraze who we picked up. And he was such a key player for us down the stretch. I don't think he gets anywhere near the credit he deserves. He's, uh, you know, great in the locker room. And then, uh, you know, we had a guy like Orzi come down and, and he could have pouted last year when he got sent down. And, you know, he's. A, a star in the NHL for however long, you know, he's the fan favorite everywhere he goes. And um, he came down and just kind of took the, the room by the horns and, and he became the, the sheriff, you could say, of our, our locker room from day one. And um, we're going to miss him for sure. But, uh, you know, you, we bring in, you know, a coin and some of these other guys and, and we got some young guys coming in. It's, it's going to be, uh, you know, a real tight knit team. And um, with the leadership and the coaching, I, I, you know, don't see why we shouldn't be able to, to step in and, and continue uh, where we left off last year. Even though you look like a natural, you certainly sound like a natural in that gear. We'll let you go so you, you can uh, enjoy enjoy uh, the street clothes yeah. and the civvies. But uh, Mr. Colburn, thanks for joining us. I appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me, Good guys. to see you. Good to be back. Yeah, Joe Colburn. Care.